Hello and welcome to Floyd Models Kit Review Time. Today we got IBG's latest release. This is their Fokker Wolf 190 D15 Torpedo Bomb Up. Now, I know what you're saying. A what? Yes, well, apparently it's a little bit of a what if. We do believe that these probably were designed, but I don't actually think they saw any combat because it was the last, uh, latter stages of obviously World War II. But the reason I'm using this particular kit is that they brought out four different versions of the D9 in various guises and stuff like that. So we thought we'd use this particular sort of what if kit as our basis because obviously the rest of the kits should follow along. So as you can see, lovely box art, incredible markings. We were discussing how you would actually do a paint job like that. I would say just paint it normally and then use a Posca pen uh, to actually just draw this all on. I think it would work really, really well, especially in 70 second scale. I think you'd get away with it. So quick run around on the box, you can see some of the other ones. There's the other one that is out now, and there's two more still to come in the very near future. But you can see, kit number for this one is 72540. And again, some of your marking options are down in there as well. So, on the box, we are greeted by, let me just sit up, <coughs> separate bags of everything. So we've got some wings down in there. We've got some uh, top covers. <coughs> we've got the lower wing section and the prop. We've got uh, the torpedoes, obviously, clear parts, different canopies, multiple options. We've got the fuselage, looks very nice indeed. And then obviously we've got uh, different exhausts and we've got an engine. We've got an engine in 70 seconds, girl, incredible. Uh, we've got various details down in there as well for the cockpit and lower wings and things. And it looks like we've got engine mounts, that's gonna be mad, uh, and various parts down in there. We've also got a set of decals and the swap stick has been broken up for various uh, sections for obvious reasons. So we will start off as always down in the instruction book. So lots of information and I haven't read any of this so it might actually be saying about the actual Fokker Wolf but I think it's basically just saying about the Fokker Wolf uh, 190D uh, for the different versions down in there. Again, full parts call out as you can see down in there and then going straight in, we've got various things we're talking about for the color call outs in detail. And then obviously we've got color call outs down in here. So again, we've got Vallejo Pataka is in here. We've got Mr. Hobby, uh, we've got Life Color and AK Interactive as well. Okay, really nice, straightforward, easy instructions as you can see. And what I'm blown about is we get a full engine. So you've got a full engine and it's detailed right the way through here. We've got engine mounts, we've got the turbocharger, the supercharger's been fitted and all the rest of it going down in there. So that's your actual engine madness in 70 seconds. Anyway, we've got cockpit again, full detail. We've even got rudder pedals and all the other bits down in here very nicely indeed. And again, we've got the actual instrument panel. We've got photo etch harnesses. It looks like saying PE, although I don't think I've seen photo etch. Oh, no, we do. We get a full sheet of photo etch as well. Wow. Again, really good. So again, that one's being fitted down in there. Then we've got the actual uh, cockpit being fitted to the wing spar system, which is very handy. It's gonna be good. And then obviously we've got the engine being mounted onto the front end, as you can see. So it's all being done. And then it's been encased in the fuselage halves of those two coming together. Then obviously we've got the top combing being fitted down onto there and the front part as well of the actual engine being fitted on there, bringing it all together. And then obviously we've got the lower wings being fitted to the wing spar, some little trimming and different edges to be done down in here for the actual tail. And then we've got the torpedo being fitted together, or you could just do it with the drop tanks as well. So that's being fitted down onto here. And then again, wheel well sections being fitted in here. We've got photo etch, it's talking about bending the photo etch. Again, incredible to have that much good design in. Interesting with the wings. So it's saying about this, that you fit the wings clip underneath the fuselage, and then they fold down and join to the actual main wings itself. So you're sort of shoehorning it underneath to get that in there. So hopefully that makes for a really, really nice, good, join between the actual wing and the fuselage along that wing root area as well. So that actually could be a very nice touch. Then we've obviously got all the control surfaces being fitted onto this one. Then we've got obviously the prop, the cowlings, the various bits and pieces being fitted on the front there just like that. And then obviously undercarriage and doors all being fitted down onto this one, the weapons fit. And again, some more detailed information here talking about aerial placements and things like that. We've got the tail wheels being fitted down in there, as you might imagine. Clear parts being finished with the canopies being put on there, down in there. And again, more details talking about obviously for the colors and the placement of the decals down in there. Canopy open or closed, as you might expect. 
pretty nice and that completes off your model and down here we've got a little wiring diagram showing you how the actual uh, rear aerial all fits on and again we were talking about this is the other version that's out now there's another two versions of it as well coming out as well and then obviously we've got the actual stencil data being put onto these as you can see just down in here really nice good clear ones and then obviously we've got the options as well so it is talking about them right in about 1945 these are pre-production models so as i said i'm not sure if they actually saw any service because uh, obviously it's slightly different from your normal sort of 190 because it doesn't have the gun system uh, up on the top but again we've got these ones down in here and then lastly up we've got that one with a nice squiggle camo uh, or the worm pattern uh, down here on the end as well so again really some very very nice details in there so straight over we don't think we need to get the decals out because they're in a nice sort of clear bag although we have got two lots in here if i get one down so again you can see we've got instrument panels all the stencil data and the markings that's pretty nice all the way through there and again really nice good quality printing with all of these and then on the back we've got a very nice piece of photo etch which we were saying we saw tons of that being used in the instructions so we've got harnesses we've got wheel well details as i said we've got the torpedo parts down here at the back and all the rest of it so again amazing amount of detail uh, down in these kits so where do we start let's start with a wing section luckily for us i think most of these will be able to do on the close-up cam anyway because it's all nice and small but check out that riveting on the underside that is absolutely beautiful highly highly detailed ibg have a real reputation or i sort of give them a reputation to be highly detailed this kit does not disappoint this gives it an absolute buckets lots of detail very nice indeed and then we pop over to the wings so this is that wing system which is actually really really good you can see here that tab so that fits underneath and then you clip it in and then fold it down that should get rid of any wing root problems but again look at the riveting detail catch it in the light there you can see that really very very nice indeed and again wheel well detail great great detail no problem at all and then we've got where are we going where are we going she's a lot that's what we're looking for all everybody needs to see this so again look at the detail look at the riveting all of that now this is stuff that to be honest you know having done a few 190s over the years i don't think i've actually seen any of the kits with that level of detail on it and that's in 70 second blown away absolutely blown away not a lot going down on the inside but said we've got lots of detail that makes that up so that's quite nice uh right okay so we're into the smaller parts here so down in here we've got the top uh of the actual uh, engine cover so this would normally where the machine guns go at the top and all the rest of it but obviously this is a different version so it doesn't have that so it's a different sprue so you couldn't technically make a d90 out of this one uh, sorry 190d out of this one uh, but it's there we've got the torpedo or torpedoes i should say looks like we have two in here Let's get them out so there we go and again level of detail look at the parts down in here absolutely amazing really very very nice indeed and we've got these for the actual uh, mounts as well the actual pylons very very nice okay the engine now this looks absolutely beautiful and definitely not disappointed great great detail down in there beautiful beautiful and again you know not that you're probably going to need it but adding a little bit of wiring and things there this just actually pushes this right over the edge of being a fantastic kit okay so we've got wheels and things all down in here as you can probably see so we've got the fuel tanks we've got the one piece tails again no eject pin marks no nothing on those beautifully done fully riveted as you might expect raised detail on the control this is raised so it's not all just recessed it is raised and different areas different cows obviously at the front the various parts the wheel wells all the details as you might expect we've got no uh, ejector pins i don't think on the insides of anywhere or anywhere nasty it's all clean and out of the way so that's very very nice indeed 
Okay, then we've got uh, over here on sprue A, the actual engine mounts. Obviously, there's different types down in there. We've got the fuel tanks, tail wheel. We've actually got the main wing spar. You can see the detail on that when we're leaning up for the engine. Different props, as I say. This is the 190D. There's lots of different versions out there. We know there's four versions of this kit out there as well. And again, nice, good, clean, crisp details all the way through. So that's really very, very nice indeed. And then last up, we've got the clear parts. And again, multiple different canopies for different versions, no doubt, open and closed, things like that. And you can see good, clear details, even in 70 second, those all look very, very nice indeed. No problem. And do you know what the amazing thing about this kit is? It's £20. Literally, it's up on the PM store now, I've got them in, and they are £20 each. And for that level of detail, so you've got, not only have you got a, you know, a fantastically external detailed, uh, you know, FW190, you've also got fully detailed engine, fully detailed wheel wells, fully detailed cockpit as well for £20. What can you get, honestly, for £20 these days? It is absolutely fantastic. Really, really excited to see if IBG go down this line of releasing these types of kits because I'm blown away by the detail. And again, we're into that realm now where, you know, 70 second scale stuff has come on so much in the last sort of five, 10 years that this is now as good as you would do anything in 30 second scale, certainly anything you do in 48 scale. You know, you'd be hard pushed to find a finer detailed kit of like now, you know, IBG's, uh, you know, FW190 than you can there. So that is absolutely kudos to them. I know it's a little bit of a what if one with this particular scheme, but obviously we have got early 190 D9s and things like that available as well if you wanted to get that particular kit. So there we go, that's IBG's amazing 170 second scale FW190 D15.